I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. Human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too... weak. Judging, but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. But... but they can't think that. They'll be missing the point. It was my genius that created the technology. My vision that seduced Zarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. People like me? You mean, not like you. You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. But they cannot leave me behind, don't you see? You and I, we're two sides of the same coin. I could have been you if it weren't for this damned blood in my veins. But I was cheated by my own DNA.
cursed to become a cripple. And I am not the only one. As long as this technology exists, mankind will continue to divide. Help me make us all equal again. You can't have the future, so no one can, is that it? Open your eyes, Darrow. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, nothing will be left but anarchy and fear, smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not... that's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope, there is nothing. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. The codes should help you shut down the Hyron project, Panchea's security system. When you see it, you will understand. There is no room for this technology in the world. Do not let me keep you. Use the codes and shut down the signal. When you do, the fate of the world will be in your hands. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that.
William Taggart, if anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, 
save us. relatively normal. Nishbar? All things considered, yeah. You okay? Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself in here when things got out of control. So, is it safe to come out now? No. The rest of the station is still under siege. You better stay here until help comes. In the meantime, is it possible to download Praxis software here? Yes, of course. No damage was done to the computers. See for yourself. I will remain here, where it's safe. If you need help, or get word of help, please come back. Granted.
can't control them anymore! Run! Run! Access granted. Access granted. How did you manage to avoid being affected by the signal? Were you in on it with that bastard, Darrow? Now the governments of the world will finally realize that every one of you should be shut down and disassembled. This technology needs to be shoved back in its box. should be under strict monsters. controls. You seem Let's to be go. unaffected by the signal that Daryl is broadcasting. I suppose that is a military adaptation? We've dabbled in something we shouldn't have. And look at the result. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation. Rules governing how the technology is developed and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. 
So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. All of this is as much your fault as it is Darrow's. You and your cabal. Perhaps. But all we sought was a safety valve, Mr. Jensen. A means of making sure the world would never spin out of control. The potential of this technology is great, but as we've seen, its potential for destruction is even greater. Your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me. You'd say anything to stay in power. Do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraf, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all love each other? There will always be a need for methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not directly. There are organizations already in place that are better equipped to handle certain things. The UN, for instance. Reimagined, no doubt. At least somewhat. And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if you join us. Stop the signal broadcast and get the word out, Mr. Jensen. Remember, Darrow's vision would set us back for centuries. There will always be a need for boundaries. Without them, society collapses. There will always be a need...
There's no one here. It's all in your head. Access granted. here. We've locked ourselves in a machine room. Please! Help us! That was nothing. 
Please, let it be nothing. What are you doing here?
Why would Hugh Darrow do such a thing? There's nothing to be gained by causing so much pain and terror. All those poor people, they must be so frightened. Tell me you're here to rescue us? Oh my god, I had to crawl through the ventilation to avoid the carnage. It was... It was the scariest thing I've ever seen. They were completely out of control, like wild animals. Adam! Oh, thank god you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities. And Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos... They'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. If we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son. You have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. You've got no remorse about using me at all, do you? I never used you, son. You experimented with my DNA, without telling me. Ah, oh, Adam. This is difficult. Listen. Megan. Megan came to me with the sample. When she showed me her finding. When I saw, when we saw the incredible potential of super compatibility. You just had to share it with the world. Adam, think about it. Would you have been able to do any of the things you've done without enhancements? Huh? Most people's bodies aren't as accepting of this technology as yours is. Sharing your DNA makes it possible for us to be like you. How can you deny us that chance? Who said I would deny it? You stole my DNA and lied to me. You didn't give me the choice. I'm giving it to you now, Adam. Look, I admit it, I haven't done things the best way. But don't punish the world to spite me. Darrow wants us to live in the Dark Ages. The Illuminati wants to limit evolution to those they control. You and me, we... Don't group me with you, Seraph. I'll make my own choices from here. I believe that, son. And I believe... you make the right ones. I know blaming humanity front leaves a sour taste. It's the only way out of this. So go. The longer that signal broadcasts, the harder it'll be to convince people. Think of it, son. A world where we determine our own path, where there's no limits to human achievement? How can you not want that? Think of it, son. 
A world where Do we I know determine you? our own path, where there's no limits You're sad to boy, aren't you? Jensen, how can you not work Are you that? here to stop the carnage? Someone needs to take charge here. I can only imagine what's going on around the globe. This is going to be a death blow to the biotech industry. I was so scared. I heard two of them coming around the corner, tearing at each other. I just dropped the floor and played dead. One of them ripped the other one's arm off and beat him to death with it. I thought for sure I was going to be next, but he never noticed me. How could Darrow turn his back on us? This technology was his baby. It was his passion that made me believe in its possibilities. He's ruined it all. The world will turn its back on us. The industry will collapse and the world will be poorer for it.
Access granted. 